I'll just give a little background about myself and why I'm here. So I'm currently a barista here in New York City, also student, nursing student. Full-time student, but also part-time here. I work here on like Saturdays. Before I started working here, I had like some sort of interest in coffee, but I would go into cafes and just study and just like admire the aesthetics of being in a cafe and studying like the romanticization. But I never really drink coffee. But like one day, like I was in New York, you know, strolling around. Coffee culture is huge here, so I was kind of like captivated by the fact that there's so many coffees in everyone's hand. Okay, I'm kind of curious. Obviously, coffee's popular. Obviously, everyone loves coffee. So I gave coffee a try. Immediately, it was game over. Like I needed it. I was on a caffeine high. I need. I was hooked. Started with the double shot, then with the triple shot, then I went to quad shot. And I'm like zooted. I need caffeine wherever I go now. <laughs> And it's even worse now that I work at this cafe because I'm always shaking. And every time I serve a customer and I'm like pouring in their cold brew, I'm like, and they're like, are you okay? I'm just, and they're like, are you, it's like your first day, are you nervous? I'm like, no, I'm just like zooted on coffee right now. The only thing I would say is um, the difficulty is when I have tests and exams. When I try to study as much as possible while I have time here, but when customers come in and out, it's kind of hard because I'm distracted. But I still get to study here and it's chill enough to do that, so. And so as much as I love being a nursing student and wanting to be a nurse, I don't want that to be my only thing that I pursue. Or, like, now that I love coffee and the culture of like cafes and like speakeasies and bars, I want to also maybe in the future start my own cafe, you know? That's why I'm studying like the art, the craft, what it, may, what it means to drink coffee, what it means to make coffee, and what it means to serve coffee. No, I just love it every I just kind of smile every time I think about it. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I just hear a fuck you. fuck you. And I love the coffee here, so if you guys in New York City, get this coffee. Looks like everyone's liking the free pastries. They're not as fresh. You really need to get a bit. You can? Thank you. Everybody. Yeah, no problem. Mr. Jerry, <laughs> Mr. Jerry, what are you ordering? You see the honey almond latte. Honey almond latte, cold? Yes. Uh, it's a special order, so it's made with love. Jerry wanted honey almond latte, so basically what goes in that is that we got a shot of her espresso, and then we're gonna do honey into the espresso. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot to add honey to the espresso cup before I drip the espresso in. Normally it helps it melt better, but I guess we'll do a backwards process. Then ice. Mr. Jerry. Oh, wow. thank you. Okay, okay, let me let me see this. Well, you just drink the milk. You guys, you gotta mix it, right? Okay, but I can't fucking mix it if it's like literally <laughs> spilling out, dude. I'm sure, I'm sure. Because I was drinking with a straw, so I was only drinking from the bottom. That's why. No, I guarantee. No, 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 it's chill. <laughs> Jerry's a photographer. No, it's good. It's fire. Jerry, are you a photographer in New York City? Yeah, I am a photographer in New York City. Thanks. I also do CGI. Oh yeah, let's show them work. I'm working on my website right now. Whoa. 
Got to update it for portfolio stuff. That's your website? Yeah. It's a square space stuff. So. Whoa. What did you get us, Packin? You're getting camera shy. Packin got us lunch. What did you get? I got us fruit. a salad and some fruit. Whoa. Oh, yeah. oh fruit? Yeah. Hell yeah. I went to Trader Joe's. Really so sweet. He's this for lunch whenever I work at like the cafe. I don't really like to eat too much because the caffeine is like appetite suppressant. So drinking all that coffee really doesn't make me hungry while I'm working at the cafe. So I just eat like fruit or like leftover croissants. <laughs> and salad, I guess. We're listening, we're listening to Pat Gant's song right now. It's just on her voice memo when we played it over the speaker. New single on her voice memo. If you ever get access to it. <laughs> oh, I should name my album my voice. Memo. My voice memo. That's cool. I got to do more bodyguards. Okay. Oh, Cody, Cody, Cody. It's okay. He comes by. And oh, 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 yeah, he's good. Oh, okay. Hi, Cody. Bye. Back to Bye. Bye. Closing time. <laughs> Even after all that protein, I'm still pretty weak. the end of the shift everyone left it's just me at the cafe now finished up some work but yeah that was the day in the life of a barista in New York City as you can tell me and my coworkers are very free free go easy going we're relaxed we're chill we talk with our customers like we make conversation with them we almost like talk shit we gossip with them we like curse with them it's just like a really friend to friend kind of interaction at this cafe and that's what we love and we try to promote that kind of an atmosphere specifically at this cafe and it's very young you can tell it's a young crowd we're in the we're in east village new york city which is very very hip very a lot of nyu students so i'm gonna go home now i'm tired I'm probably gonna do some homework again more and then maybe go out or something it is saturday night i'll take the train back up and I made some good tip and i'll just lock up now and i'll see you guys in the next video